Y'all ready? Yeah. All right, with me is the Geneseo Police Chief Eric Asganian and the U.S. Marshal for our area, Charles Salina. Um, today, around 1.30 p.m., our Sheriff's Office received a call from a hunter that had been walking a wooded area on the other side of 20A, and uh, he was out looking for deer antlers, basically, and he came across what he thought could be human remains. Uh, deputies were dispatched, entered in the wooded area, and did confirm that it, it was skeletal remains of a human body. We've been processing the scene for the last several hours. Uh, we continue to. We'll, we'll be here overnight holding the scene down until morning to do a little bit uh, more tomorrow with the processing. Um, I know your question is going to be, who is it? And I'm not going to be able to give you that answer. Obviously, we, um, we have work to do to confirm and, and with certainty say who it is. We do have the medical examiner's office from Monroe County out here assisting us. Um, RFIU, uh, our drone unit, you know, the things that you think about with forensics is what we're working on right now and what we'll we will be working on uh, through the overnight holding the scene and then tomorrow. Uh, the preliminary, again, I know you're going to ask me, is it David Clyde Morgan? Um, the last time we had something like this, you know, it was a lot of unknown and we were kind of leaning towards no. In this case, we are leaning towards yes. Um, it's in the general proximity of July 18th, I believe it was, of 2018. So roughly a year and a half later that we're here. Uh, many of you might have been here when that happened and it was uh, a little bit down 63 on uh, proximity of where we are now. And this as the crow flies would be across 20A and then over into the wooded area. It is, it is a heavily wooded area where this uh, skeletal remains were found. And so again, we're, we're processing through that. And um, once we have a 100% identity, we will share it with you. You said skeletal remains. How long do you think the body has been there? Uh, you know, it's too, uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm not an expert in that. I can tell you that it is, it's skeletal remains. Um, so it did come in preliminary as um, uh, some type of body, but the reality is it is skeletal remains. So th this, this person's been there quite a while. The sheriff, at this point, we cannot confirm who this is. There's a lot of speculation. It might have been David Clyde Morgan. You're not prepared to say that. I'm time. not. Um, you know, we got really two things that we're going to be able to say that 100%. It's going to either be dental or it's going to be DNA. Um, those are the things that we really look to to give a 100% confirmation. I will tell you that there's, there's things at the scene that leads us to believe it is David Clyde Morgan. Um, I'm not going to get into those specifics, but there is more um, that we feel comfortable that we we would say that we believe it to be in a preliminary fashion, uh, but we cannot say that with certainty. So we have discussed through the marshal's office with the family to let them know today. And um, again, we just continue to process the scene and, and work towards a conclusion on this. Sure, you said it was earlier today, a hunter was who discovered these remains? Yeah, that's correct. So if you think about this, this is two two deer seasons ago this would have happened so we've been through one in 18 one in 19. Uh, there's a deer stand about 30 yards from where the skeletal remains are found it's just a heavy brush area uh, a large tree trees down so it, it was kind of a unique place um, but yeah that's how it happened these these gentlemen were out and i guess it's pretty common for hunters to walk and, and look for antlers we call it like the shed of the antlers and they're walking deer paths and just stumble across it yeah, I'm not going to get into specifics, but like I said, I, I feel strongly that there is no concern for public safety. I don't think this, this is anything for anybody to be concerned about. I do think that, um, again, we cannot say with 100% certainty that this is David Clyde Morgan, but there are things on scene that lead us to believe that. We will need to work through the medical examiner's office for DNA confirmation or dental confirmation. Any timeline on when we might have a more a clear idea of that? If it's dental, it could be days. If it's DNA, it could be weeks. It's the best I can give you on that. We saw some police vehicles, think a state troopers, uh, um, sheriff's office down at this white house right down the road is that house connected in any way nope so that was the area that we entered the property so no those those people have been good neighbors to us and helped us out and unfortunately we've torn up their lawn trying to get back there it's just as you know this is a rural area and so when you're when you're trying to work through these things we need we need neighbors to be good neighbors to us at the sheriff's office and they allowed us to to get our vehicles back in there sure. now this is an area that you guys have searched previously no, so if, if you look at the, the search areas that we've done, 
Um, when this came in, it, it was down the road. We searched to the south. We had some information that believed, uh, we believed led us to the south, including some, some canine tracks. Then we searched the other side of the road. Um, and then we searched down into, towards the river and down there. But the night that this happened, we had a perimeter set up and we felt confident that 20A was covered very well. Uh, so again, if this is David Clyde Morgan, there's, there's one of two things that happened. He either got through our perimeter prior to it being set up, which there is a possibility, um, or he got through our perimeter post that. I, I would lean towards if it is, and I do stress if it is, that it most likely he got through our perimeter prior to it being set up. It would have been a dead sprint uh, down, this was heavy corn if you remember at that time, then down over the hill, down, down over 20A, and then continue down through the wooded area. About how far from those, that original search area were these remains found? Um, I don't have the measurement on it yet. Um, I, I would just be guessing maybe um, 675 yards to a thousand plus yards, maybe more. Again, I'm, I'm guessing just by the proximity of where I know this vehicle was stopped and the connection of as the crow flies I'm talking to, not roadways. It would be a straight shot over into the deep uh, wooded area over there. Can you scoop on if the remains are scattered at all? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the scene down there again because I do feel that um, you know we were comfortable saying there's there's no concern for public safety. That we do feel that um, we we believe it will be David Clyde Morgan, but we cannot say that with certainty. Again, we did talk to the family to let them know that. Um, but I'm not going to get into the specifics of the scene because it's very preliminary. We've been here a couple hours. If it's not David Clyde Morgan, where do, where do, you, guys, where do you guys continue? Where do you guys go with the search for it? Well, that's the thing is um, since we cannot say with certainty, we have to treat it just like we would a criminal investigation um, outside of it being David Clyde Morgan. So it, it's treated as an unknown and we take our forensics members and we set up a huge perimeter and we work from the outside in in a very methodical fashion collecting all the evidence all the way in. So if it's not him, if DNA or dental does not confirm that, then we have a different type of case on our hands that's gonna require the forensic uh, investigation. So again, we feel comfortable saying there's no cause for public safety concern and um, that ultimately we do believe it will be him, but we can't say that with certainty tonight. Any idea on cause of death at this point? Self-inflicted, uh, something else from the elements? Or... So again, we've got um, evidence, very preliminary, but I'm not gonna get into those specifics on that tonight. What about, this is something, if it is, and I, I, I'll stress it too, if it is, um, this is something that for a year and a half, we're going on two years, mm -hmm. people have wondered, you guys have, have used a lot of resources. Yeah. Talk about what it would mean if this finally kind of closes this. Well, that's exactly it, it's closure. Uh, we've worked closely with the Geneseo Police Department and closely with the U.S. Marshals. Uh, the Marshal personally has put a lot of effort into this. He's been down here searching the fields with me and um, spent some time on the UTV with me. He sent manpower all over the country and um, other places, and, and maybe he wants to get into that. But there have been random tips that have come in on this case, and it, it was a very, very unique case that he went off into the corn and never to be seen again. And there was folks that believed he wasn't here. There was folks that believed he was dead somewhere. Um, and when you're looking at the search patterns, how far do you go? Uh, again, it's very rural. So how, how far is enough to be comfortable? How far is not? And those are things that we looked at. And we searched multiple times with various agencies and various resources and cadaver dogs. Um, but again, this was not a target of our search area based on the fact of our perimeter. And we had to go off what we did that night, which was a, what we felt was a pretty good perimeter. Again, it's a rural area. This isn't like a city block. This is several miles of rural cornfields and heavily wooded area. Uh, but we did feel we had a good perimeter, especially we felt like this perimeter was our best perimeter. And uh, ultimately, if, again, we searched and searched. and. Um, here two deer season so again just to give you an idea of how secreted uh, this this skeletal remains were it's it's quite a um, uh, I guess in some fashion good luck for us for closure to a case if it ends up being him that these two hunters happen to go into this heavily brush wooded area and come across this Are there any missing persons cases around here like any other local ones that are in this area that you're aware of um, 
we do not have any missing persons that would fit this description. Uh, like in the last case in Mount Morris, um, that was a little bit different because we did. Uh, this this case here, we, we don't. We've gone through our list. Um, so I guess the answer would be no. All right. So uh, the U.S. Marshal can answer any questions. If you have any Similar question, just uh, for for um, the resources that went into this. Talk about what it would mean if this this could sort of happen. Well, as the sheriff said, it would be closer to a case that you know we're, we're still working up until this point. And just in the last month and a half, we had tips up in Canada where we sent resources to Ontario, Canada, and out west to St. Louis, Missouri. So we have never stopped looking for David Clyde Morgan. So if it does turn out to be him, it's going to be you know, it's great for the investigators that can close the case out. And sort of just even for multiple communities that were sort of tied together, he had ties in a lot of places everywhere, and there was a potential he could show up in any of them. This, if it is him, would allow for maybe some of the residents. Sure, everywhere. yeah, and he's not from Livingston County. He's not even from New York. So he has ties to Texas, California, North Carolina, so yeah, St. Louis, Missouri. California. So we've had our offices, our task forces looking for him in all those places. So if it is, again, it would be good closure for these, you know, the investigators from the Livingston County Sheriff's Office, Geneseo, and the U.S. Marshal's Office. From a U.S. Marshal standpoint, what's your next part of it? Do you continue to help out until the end of this, or, or do you... Is this... Yeah, we've been in it from the beginning. The Sheriff and I probably communicate weekly on this case. So we're here until the the remains are 100% identified, hopefully through the dental records or whatever means necessary we get this, these skeletal remains that's going to identify. Good? Alright, sorry for the delay. No problem. Hope you guys have a good night. Thank you, Chef. Take care.